One of the most important things I learned in sales and marketing is to actually sell and market to people based on the personality types that they fall under. What's going on everybody, your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today I want to go over personality types, uh, a personality type system that I learned from one of my biggest mentors and you know how you can sell and market to people based on their personality types. And one thing I want to say is again, I get started is that learning this specific thing about, you know, knowing how to read people first of all, but also then how to sell and market to them based on their personality type has been a game changer. This thing, this one principle alone has honestly made me over six figures collectively, you know, with the sales that I've done when I was doing door to door sales, because I did use this specifically when I was selling door to door and in e-commerce as well because you we do use the same strategies in e-commerce. Comes to personality types, obviously not everybody is the same, right? You obviously, you know, some of you guys may be introverted, some of you guys may be extroverted. For those of you guys though that don't know the difference, extroverts are simply people that are a lot more outgoing, they like to socialize and talk to people more, and introverts are simply people that aren't as outgoing and usually tend to be a lot quieter. There's been different studies that have been made that have proven that there's like you know, I've seen like 16 different personality types. My mentor, Ty Lopez, actually came up with this pace system where he pretty much narrowed down four personality types where basically everybody falls under, right? It's called the pace system and it's P-A-S-E and all of them basically are different personality types. So a lot of you guys watching, the first one at the top of the list is practical, right? Practical people usually either accountants, engineers, lawyers, uh, people that really love to see statistics and numbers before making any decisions. These are people that they will like to plan things in advance and usually don't like to do things like just out of thin air, right? Like if you guys decide, let's get up and go, you know, let's go take a road trip. They're not down to just do it like within a few hours. They have to plan the trip out in advance and really have things down to, you know, pretty much calculated down to a T. And again, I will, before I actually keep going into all these, I wanna let you guys know, give you guys some preface. There's nothing wrong with being any of them. It's obviously totally normal, that's who we are. So I just wanted to make sure obviously, I don't want anyone to get the wrong ideas thinking that maybe like one is better than the other because they're all unique in all their own different ways. A stands for action-based. Action-based people, uh, I'm an action-based person, so people like me, whenever they hear about something and it makes sense, they wanna see how they can get do it as soon as possible, right? So for me, you know, I don't really like going through all the numbers or all that stuff like at first. I like to do that after. I like to see how I can get started and really get going, whatever it is, you know, I find out about or if I see a good opportunity, I really like to try to take action on it. The next one is S, you have social people, uh, social based people. Social people are people that are very outgoing already. Uh, these are the kind of people that if you, you know, ask them to meet you somewhere and you're late, uh, these people will start socializing with other people that are there, right? That's usually how social people are. And again, nothing wrong with that. That's actually a good thing. I wish I was a lot more social personally, but social people, that's just, you know, usually how they are. When you're talking to social people, you hear about the whole life story. Then you'll talk about actual business that you did to talk about. That's just how social people are. And the last one is just emotional, right? E. Uh, emotional people, it's a little harder to read them, but usually emotional people, they get offended very easily. So if you know someone that gets offended very easily, usually if you can't automatically narrow them down to be like a practical person or an action-based or like a social person, then obviously the only option is emotional. Those are the four main personality types that I learned from, again, Ty Lopez. And the reason why, whenever you're in a sale, and you wanna close a sale, you usually wanna see, again, all the facts that go into it. So when I was doing door-to-door -door sales, um, usually these people, the practical people, they would wanna read the contract from front to back. So after I would figure out that they were a practical person, I wouldn't try to have them sign the contract on the first day because I knew for a fact that they're not action-based, so they're not just gonna jump on and do it. They wanna read the contract first and learn all the ins and outs about the whole sale, right? I also knew that I couldn't spend too much time talking about you know nonsense because they really wanted to know all the facts. They're not social. And that's super important to know because if I would have done any of those two, I probably would have lost out on the sale. Scarcity and urgency doesn't work as well on them because they still won't make any decision no matter what time frame or how many, no matter how much availability there's left because they want to know all the statistics, right? If 
you're selling to practical people on your e-commerce store, obviously these people are gonna wanna see your full product descriptions, you know, how to use the product, all that great stuff. So you wanna make sure that you have that included for practical based people. For action based people, when I was doing door to door sales, whenever I would discover who was an action based person, I knew that I wouldn't spend too much time going through the contract because that's not what they're interested in. I wouldn't spend too much time, you know, talking about other things besides business that we were supposed to talk about. And I wouldn't use urgency or scarcity on them because action based people, usually you can feel them out. And once they're ready, usually they'll give you the signs and you can ask them things like, you know, have you heard enough to make a decision, right? And usually they'll tell you if they have or not and they'll be good to go. So with these people, you don't want to overwhelm them with information if they're already ready to make the decision because that's not how they work. They want to get it done, right? Now when it comes down to selling things online for action-based people, you want to make sure it's very easy for them to check out, right? So one of the things you want to do is, of course, make sure you have an add to cart button and also make sure that you have a pop-up on your store somewhere where they can see the cart so that way as soon as they're ready to buy it's super easy for them to either go click the button to check out or go right back to their cart so that again that they can buy right because that's that's how they work that's how they operate so that's a quick example of an action-based person now with social based people something that worked really well with social based people is using social proof right so when i would go up to someone and i would realize that after I had pitched them, you know, they would give me a response or ask questions about what I, you know, what I was pitching them about. But then they would start talking about, you know, how their day was, their dog, the tree, everything else. They started talking about all these different things. I'd find out obviously that they were a social person. So for social people, what I would do, talking to them about other people that have done what you're talking about. So what I would do is I would say, hey, Susie, I'm actually working with your neighbor, Sally, from down the road. Uh, she's actually super interested. I actually set up with an appointment. I'm going to come see her next week that works super well because for social people these people thrive off of other people doing it so like reviews having people other people doing it that's how they really make decisions so when you're selling online for social people you want to make sure that you have you know reviews on your store and on your website because social people thrive off of seeing reviews and other people's perspective on your product and service so that's super important and that's how you can market and sell to uh, social people emotional people they're a little bit tougher to you know kind of narrow down and figure out right away but you can definitely figure out at one point, but what works really well for them is urgency and scarcity. Usually my goal was while pitching them to figure out where they landed in the personality type because after I figured out where they landed in the personality types, I could easily find out what I would say or do to make them obviously move along in the sales process. Social people stand out right off the jump because these are people that are gonna talk to you a lot more than you talk to them. Action-based people, you'll see that you say a certain amount of things, they're usually ready to make a decision. Practical people, you'll see that they'll have a ton of questions all the time. Emotional people, if you can't figure out which personality type they fall under within you know, just those few different things, then you're usually left with an emotional-based person. I would obviously give them the same spiel that I give everybody else, the same pitch, but what I would do is I would mention how we can only do three or four more on the street, letting them know that we can only work with a few more houses. And usually scarcity and urgency works really well for emotional based people almost all the time. Whenever somebody lands on your product page, you want to make sure you have scarcity and urgency. And some of the ways you can do that, of course, is for scarcity, you can let them know like I only have a few spots left if it's a service or a few products left if it's an actual product and for urgency you can have a countdown timer saying like hey uh, you have a certain amount of time until the offer expires right and the reason why you want to make sure that you have all of these things included on your website or if you're selling in person is because if you miss out on one of them you you will be missing out on a certain type of personality types to sell to you. video the reason why you want to make sure you guys are marketing to all four personality types is so that you can obviously increase the chances of people buying from you as much as possible right so i don't want to overcomplicate this but i figured i'd give you guys an idea of why personality types are important because it is i guarantee you guys if you guys learn how to read people and you learn about different personality types and you use that in your marketing you're going to see a change in sales and revenue here with the vfam i'm trying to help you guys obviously do a lot more than what society has out for all of us to do and that involves of course you know making more sales making more money if you guys got value from this video of course make sure you drop a like on it also leave me a comment below let me know what personality types you guys think you are if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button join the v fam and i'll see you guys on the next video peace